to eat or not to eat? That may seem like a simple question with an obvious answer to you or me, but for those struggling with an eating disorder, the answer is much more complicated. By spending clinical time each week at Western Psych on the Center for Overcoming Problem Eating floor, I have learned that this is a growing problem within our society today. Being skinny seems to be a debilitating thought of women and even men today. They starve themselves to reach their own perceptions of perfection. Today, I will talk about the behaviors of anorexics, the cause and effects of anorexia, and the treatment and prevention of the disorder. Anorexia nervosa literally means loss of appetite. Noticing if someone has anorexia nervosa can become a difficult task because the warning signs can sometimes be confused with normal teenage or human development. For instance, according to Caroline Warbrick, author of Eating Disorders and Body Image, spending more time alone, losing friends, or fussiness about foods can all be signs of anorexia. Anorexics are very unhappy with themselves and how much they eat. They feel guilty for their eating habits and how they've gained weight. They also tend to exercise and worry about their body figures constantly. The signs such as weight loss and little appetite become increasingly more noticeable as the disease progresses. These behaviors begin because of numerous causes. Psychologists from NYU say that specific types of people develop anorexia nervosa. Those that grew up with parents that have unachievable goals or parents that find it very important to be at a perfect weight and appearance are at a high risk for the developing the disease. It is also possible that anorexia nervosa sets in at a very stressful time. The same psychologists say that the, the disease starts when the victim hits puberty, suffers from a breakup with a girlfriend or boyfriend, has family issues, or changes schools. They do not necessarily feel overweight and not accepted. They have just been through so much emotional stress that they lose their appetite, begin to feel worthless, and eventually depression sets in. This leads to the development of an obsession and it makes it very difficult to stop. Anorexia nervosa is a psychological disorder that has physical effects. The National Institute of Mental Health states that one in 10 anorexics will die from the disease, either from starvation, complications such as heart attack, or suicide. As the disease progresses, the body's immune system is lowered, which makes the patient more prone to illness. Significant weight loss, dizziness, mu muscle weakness, stomach pain, and constipation are all symptoms of anorexia. During the disease, women stop menstruating and afterwards find it very difficult to become pregnant. Anorexics suffer from extreme tiredness and have trouble keeping warm. Their hair becomes a thin, dried out, brittle yellow color and sometimes hair loss can occur. Some even experience drastic bone loss, which eventually leads to osteoporosis. Osteoporosis can even cause the stunting of the patient's growth. The heart can begin to not function properly, such as having a slow heartbeat, heart palpitations, and a low blood pressure. This can result in an unexpected death. In fact, 5 to 20% of anorexics will die because of medical problems. These problems make recovering from anorexia a very difficult task. Counseling is perhaps, perhaps the most effective and most common treatment of anorexia, but medical and psychological therapy is needed because anorexia is both a mental and health issue. They undergo extensive psychological analysis and nutritional education. A new type of treatment for anorexia has recently been developed in the past few years known as behavior therapy. This has been proven to be one of the most effective ways to treat anorexia nervosa. It includes the patient obtaining certain privileges for gaining weight, and likewise those privileges get taken away when they do not eat. In some rehabilitation centers such as WIPIC, all the patients eat together and help guide each other in the healing process. Preventing the disease has become a main concern of people today. A study was just performed on 470 male and female students on how educational programs help teenagers feel more comfortable with themselves. Jennifer A. Hurley, author of Eating Disorders Opposing Viewpoints, explains that the idea is to help increase a teenager's self-esteem of their body and eating behaviors by educating them on the dangers of extreme dieting. The program found that it was a huge success. Students learned to accept themselves in their body, and they also showed a decrease in the number of females that were on a diet. Those educational programs are becoming more popular in schools today because of the positive and lasting results. The program showed that everyone eats and that eating is socially acceptable. They also help teenagers realize that dieting is socially acceptable, but only ones that are healthy and undamaging.
conclusion, I have told you the behaviors of anorexics, the causes and effects of anorexia, and the treatment and prevention of the disorder. It is important to recognize that a fine line exists between dieting and obsession with restricting food intake. The early signs of anorexia are virtually undetectable, and early education on how damaging eating disorders are can help eliminate the problem before it begins to develop.